Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's time for a night bike ride story time. And what we're going to do is I'm going to do this one in slow motion. So it's going to be 80% of my normal speed. Uh, should have my voice pretty deep. So we're going to just go ahead and roll with it. So in this quick tale, we are going to tell you of Alexander the Third of Macedon, better known as Alexander the Great. So uh, Alexander the Great becomes king when his father Philip II of Macedon gets assassinated by his ex-lover. We'll get into that later, but anywho, uh, Alexander becomes king. There is a famous man in the Greek world, a philosopher known as Diogenes. Diogenes means Dog man, dog man. Yes, that, I said that right. Because why? Because he lives like a dog. He lives in a uh, big giant clay pot. He drinks out of a bowl, eats out of a bowl, until one day he sees a kid that he's drinking with his bare hands. So he's like, oh, I'm too greedy. I can't have that bowl. I'll just go without it. Barely ever wore clothes. Uh, pooped, peed in the street. Let's be honest, he uh, lived like a dog. That's why they called him dog man. Anyway. His idea was that you should never be ashamed of who you are, what you are, and why hide in the shadows if you're going to poop, pee, just do it out in the open, and just be happy to be alive, enjoy life in the sun. So, uh, becomes a very famous, very famous philosopher. He wasn't entirely, uh, you would think, you know, he's out to lunch uh, today, but uh, now, uh, back then, uh, those types of educational types, philosophers, things like that were uh, well loved and deserved. So Alexander hears of him. He's famous all over the Greek world, and Alexander becomes king. Uh, his father dies, the Greeks rebel, he puts them all to heel in ten months, and then he goes to see uh, Diogenes, and Diogenes is, uh, you know, just chilling outside, uh, hanging out by his bowl, and uh, you know, clay pot, I guess he he didn't have probably didn't have the bowl then. I don't know. We don't we're not unsure on the timing of the bowl. We'll get back to that. Anywho, bowl or no, uh, Alexander sees him and uh, introduces himself. He says, Diogenes, I know your your name. I know who you are. You're very famous all throughout the Greek world, and uh, I'm king now. So uh, I have the world at my fingertips, anything you ask of me, I will give it to you if it's within my power. What would you want? What do you want? And uh, Diogenes looks at Alexander and he says, oh my uh, boy, you certainly do have the look of Apollo. Uh, tell me, can you give me the sun? And uh, Alexander paused and looked up at the sun and then looked down at uh, Diogenes as he was casting a shadow over him and said, no, I, I am not the sun god, I cannot give you the sun, but anything else in my kingdom can you ask and it shall be yours. And Diogenes looked up at him and smiled and said, well then my boy, kindly step aside because you are blocking the light. The moral of the story is that here is a man with nothing and is perfectly content in his life with being outdoors and having the air and the stars and the sun and the sky. And here is Alexander who one day will own all the gold in the world, never lose a battle, conquer endlessly lust for war and power and glory and women and men alike for decades of his life from the time he was a, a teenager at 16 until uh, he was killed as, uh, as king in 33 so that is the tale the tale of the two men so